Well, hello there, everyone. You talk about me here, talk about you for higher education, and basically that you know anybody that may want to where your know, talks about is to where that you know, talk about you know, from the other previous video talking about you know subjects, you know subjects that we may have had them before, and even if we were transferred schools that we weren't to where that why is it that we may have to take them again? And I can remember this story, you know, from back from the fourth grade it was, is that uh, you know, like uh, you know, from the third and fourth grade the teacher told me that I would have to you know, baby basically that uh, the times tables that uh, after I passed the threes and then I thought it was like you know, to, to go for the fours. But then uh, you know whenever I went to the the fourth grade I can remember the teacher said it well you got you likely had to take that you know, the, the math course again, but uh, on their hand, that, 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 yeah, you know, particular elementary years, and that can necessarily tour anybody that more likely weren't tour, that after you take a class and after you pass a test, why is it that you got to take it again? <laughs> so, really, that uh, for any parents, they may warrant to where the important task, I guess, basically means is to where the, yeah, that uh, if you're going to be transferring to a new school district or so, or to another class, that you weren't to wear that, yeah, that you wise it that you got to take all this stuff all over again. But uh, really, that um, I guess the best answer more like it would be is to show about how much you still remember, how much you still know. But then on the other hand, it seems like to wear that, yeah, that uh, you know, if you've only had it, you had the subject maybe once or twice or so, and thinking about it to wear the GPA score that more likely they could improve maybe by you know, the next quarter or so. So just think about it to wear. For like higher education, to where like for what the the parents you know like what the parents though that you know, the parents will more likely warrant to where that yeah necessarily to where hey that you know their kids go to school for a higher education and knowing about really that that you know, yeah it's it can get expensive too but then on your hand at knowing that you know, I mentioned you know, from the other video was talking about is to where that basically to like the agreement it's like you know for the school and. Uh, and I know like with a lot of our classwork that you know, we spend a lot of time with our classwork and then maybe that we look forward to what you call showing somebody at home and it's like you know, for what you worked on in school and and I know that uh, I'm not really talking about anything that's maybe related to finger painting or anything like that but um, if I can remember right that uh, I don't know if I ever uh, did any type of finger painting whenever I was in school? If anything, maybe in the kindergarten years. You know, maybe in kindergarten that I you know, had at some pa finger painting lessons, but skills, painting, finger painting skills as well. But uh, as well as working, working with blocks, and then uh, you know, I, I you know, I cannot remember any of the Legos. But uh, you know, from from like from preschool to kindergarten, that that they would have you working with like you know the ABCs and as well as you know, for maybe a little bit of coloring and then counting as well as you know for the with the blocks and stuff. But um, but anyway, uh, yeah, I could I could probably still remember a little bit about what I can remember you know in kindergarten especially, but then as well as you know, from the fifth grade and uh, thinking necessarily to her anybody that may want to her about the tutors so though it's like for tutoring. That you know how often that we may ask it's like maybe with the parents though you know the parents that that you know if they were to be working at the school or if they were to be like what you call is like a you know talk to the, the schools about is to where that they know quite a bit about their children to the point where it's like knowing about that you know yeah that you're gonna be meeting you know, maybe with the tutor there at the school so uh, I know like with anybody that uh, that you know if it's gonna be you know for special needs you know like their 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 children. Are going to be you know that they uh, they have like what you call that type of disability to where that they need some extra help with whether that they gotta learn. So just think about it to where it may not have to be an after school event or so, but then on your hand too it could also be is to where that you know during class hours that because um, I know that whenever I was in the fifth grade, if I can remember that that I had that uh, I used to always think that it was two teachers. I had two teachers that. Uh, that I would go see one of them for about an hour, and then uh, you know spend about maybe an hour and a half or so in in a regular class, as well as you know going back to the other teacher. So that uh, they allowed me to wear that, uh, especially whenever I was in elementary school, that uh, I was in a, in a special needs class there, and then uh, they would uh, they they would uh, you know also allow me to where I would go to another class uh, that they said that yeah that. Uh, that uh, I cannot remember that whole story about from the fifth grade because the teachers wanted me in their class. I think mainly for the reasons when one of those was because of the fact about you know some of the kids 
that knew me there and then that they were wondering and then that knowing about anything uh, you know anything that you know, that you know, that they were working on that they want to be to participate so <laughs> I don't know anybody that may warn to her even the parents you know the parents may warn her to her that what's that all about is to her that uh, that you were in a kind of a regular class there for a while until the day moved you to special ed or so but anyway uh, but talk about say like, for higher education and uh, knowing about you know, how expensive it is especially and knowing about the course requirements but if we were talking about it's like with the parents though that that was like with the the mom right here and like weren't to anybody that may weren't to her the school may recommend you a certain amount of tutoring hours and I know that a lot of times that they will be be talking to the parents especially if it's going to be the mom and I have included right here is a picture right here is and my mom and I and like warrant to her that yeah we were you know enjoying the you know, the great outdoors and think about this um this picture right here I used a Photoshop example right here of the me right here in the moon it's like knowing about I'm like yeah that uh, it's like I was also thinking about you know, putting dreams in the night you know somewhere right here but I'm like really that uh, just to make sure that there's not too much distractions right here it's like you're anything that's related to principal designs or anything like that but uh, anything that you really like typographic you know, type work right here but uh, but like for tutoring hours and I know like with a student like me is to where if I were to be in class right here and knowing about a mic like, really that you know, you may be thinking about your parents especially your mom and think about you know how well that you're doing in class they may mention about is to her that you may need a certain amount of hours of tutoring service so for most tutors though that they go to say is to where they are there to help explain the assignment a little bit more and are willing to work with you and help you to what you know you don't understand about you know, what needs to be done based on the requirements so I know that uh, I had a quite a bit of you know, kind of example of some tutoring hours whenever I was in elementary school especially in preschool so basically that uh, I guess you could say is to her that it seems like to her that you are paying for that plus on top of the quarters so if we were to be going to school and if it's going to be what you call anything that's related to like scholarships or grants or anything like that and warning to her that yeah that you know that why does it seem fair to where that you know I'm having to pay for a number of the things and really you know for like a, you know for the books and supplies and stuff so we weren't to where that yeah if it's going to be maybe the you know the mom or so or like other you know parents or if it's going to the cousins or aunts or uncles or whoever that that more likely say is to where that you'll be able to be able to get that financial aid especially and uh warrant to her that yeah that uh, anything that more likely we could explain about is to her whenever you start school that they explain to the counselors that more likely would explain you they would explain that uh, you know uh, for what that needs to be paid for and anything that you would need to pay for and as well as what the, the school would pay for and as well as what financial aid would pay for so and a lot of times that uh, this right here is basically measured by especially on our taxes whenever we file our taxes like I mentioned before but then uh, you have right here I went and put right here it's like you have right here is the sun setting right here with the moon right here so think about it, it's like around midnight necessarily so anybody that may warrant to her that the, yeah usually between the hours of 10 and 11 o'clock at night or so and knowing about you know, from from where a kid starts school you know especially, especially for higher education and I know that like anybody that if it's going to be that the mom or you know, anybody you know you know, any, you know any parents that they may warrant to her that um, you know from certain amount of hours out of a year that you spent with the tutoring hours, especially for how many credits that you've earned, and as well as you know, turn in your assignments like you were supposed to. So I know, like with any you know students, they may warrant to her that what does it usually mean whenever they give you uh, more work, you know, more work than maybe than what you can handle, or maybe if it's like what you call it's like to where you're under pressure a lot of times. And I know I I talked about this before, but I don't know if I talked it in a way such as as to where that you know really that uh, that if they really expect you to get everything done so that can necessarily to her that whenever you're in class that you want to show the best you can and then you want to try to get because you know you there's other students in class that maybe uh, you know, already have been able to do a complete an assignment but then uh, think about you know no problem so whenever you're going to be in class that you want to think about another, a thing a few uh, 
uh, assignments that you're able to complete, a few tasks that you're able to complete with no problems at all. And sometimes that's pretty hard to do. And uh, we were to her, why is it that that's pretty hard to do with no problems at all? You know, why is it that it seems like that there is a problem? And uh, one of those, which you call us like, really, I'm like, it may not be that person's fault either. It may not be uh, my fault because I cannot complete an assignment due to a, uh, a situation such as maybe technical support or maybe the fact about that, you know, you know, yep, well, we, we, we ran out of time or it could have been such as to where that, that there was something else that came to your immediate attention also. One of those was that, uh, that you had to attend a meeting. You had to attend a meeting and you were not able to complete the assignment. So, just think about as to where the number of things that you're having to do uh, that they ask you to do uh, while you're in class. And uh, we may think as to where that we were not able to get it all done. Well, guess what? I'm like, that, that, does that mean that you don't have the job? But uh, on the other hand, that, that, uh, this right here is like knowing about, yeah, for whenever the, the clock that strikes midnight, which uh, it comes to midnight, that... Uh, that I keep thinking though that you know, if anybody you know heard me saying that is to where that that whenever midnight comes and just think about it as to where that by the time midnight you know by by the time of twelve twelve a.m. midnight comes just think about it from what all was accomplished. So whenever we uh, if we would be talking to our parents and uh, they look at our grade report, you know they may say is to where that you know yeah that the your grade, your GPA score has what you call fallen a little bit behind, but then you were able to get caught up just a little bit. So then, whenever we look at our grade report, that we may think necessarily to where that we try to aim for. You know, we try. Our goal was to work on getting an A on a, on the test. You know, getting a B plus on an exam, and it may not work. You may have lost some points, and I know, like with anybody's, to where. That like with especially if it's going to be with the mom or anybody that uh, you know, with the parents if it's going to be anybody who's concerned is to where you're like worried to where that you know you don't like the idea of losing something or if you can't find something and sometimes it's very frustrating whenever you can't find something such as maybe the notes that uh, that you were trying to study and as well as that that you know, you were trying to find your assignment and it took you a few seconds just to locate the assignment. So making sure everything's there, especially. So we wanted to where what part of, of the brain that more likely is to where that 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 works like that to where that like for tutoring hours and uh, whenever making sure that all your work is there, everything you need to do is there, so you can be able to, to turn everything in just to be able to complete the course, to complete that you know that, that part of the week of, of the class and uh, and then that uh, you know it takes you a few seconds to where you may see something wrong. So that's just the thing about me though is like to where about higher education to where that just because everything is not there may not mean is to where that you know, you're not what you call good on skills to where to be able to earn this this type of you know higher education and I know like with anybody that you know like with the parents you know the parents like the mom would be able to give their kid you know, a certain amount of tutoring hours and support and that uh, is like with the kid though you know, what can the kid give the mom you know, like that the mom can give the kid a hug and as well as you know, that the kid can give the mom a hug as well. And uh, so you're like worried to her that, uh, you know, the kid that maybe you're kind of used to where that, you know, they want to get their experiences to where that they want to, you know, manage their own finances. You know, they want to study a little bit about what does financial aid mean or what does this, uh, you know, academic block mean or what does this quarter, this course of the quarter mean. So I know... A lot of the counselors have explained before about that, but then if you're going to have a mom or anybody that's going to be uh, uh, mentioning about you, they're going to be looking at the paperwork and ask you that that you know explain a little bit about what this is, what that is, and then there may be some things that you may know or may what you may not know. But um, on your hand that you see right here is that with this right here between that day and night right here. With day and night right here, and then basically it's like what I, you know, like with anybody that uh, the teacher may ask you to put the, a, a type of, of exclamation inside your work, such as, please put this in your own words, explain to me about this right here. So, so I know like uh, with any type of a grade report necessarily that uh, we're like worried to her that uh, anybody like, maybe like the mom that may worry to her that, uh, that they, you know, ask questions and thinking about us to her that, uh, you know, well, that, uh, that, 
you know, for anything that more likely that the mom or, you know, anybody like the parents that more likely would be concerned about. And one of those would be as to her that, uh, you know, how's school going and as well as that, 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 you know, if you're having any problems reading or anything like that, reading and understanding about what you got to do with the assignment. And, uh, but the way I think about it, though, is like really that, that there are some things out there to where whenever you get a job, especially whenever you get a job, it seems like that you understand that a lot more for whenever that anybody that more likely weren't to where you get a, you go to school for a certain amount of times of the year. And then by the time you get a job, you know, you you kind of realize also about how important it is to where and say for good education, good education that more likely gives you that ability to where for what you learned and then uh, you're able to get a good job. And uh, and I know like with anybody that more likely weren't to where that yeah that uh, you know you uh, you know there may be a few times you know anybody that may say is to where that those who are not able to find jobs especially and then. Uh, I guess there's something else that you can keep busy with too, and that uh, one of those would be is to where that yeah that uh, you know it may not be what you like either. So if anybody wants just to where that really that if we would ask the question is to where what do you like, <laughs> and uh, if anybody were wanted to where yeah well what do you like necessarily? <laughs> you like wanted to where yeah if it's something that you like. Or if it's something that you don't like, <laughs> and uh, uh, you write you write like right there. If anybody asks, like you dislike, but <laughs> really that um, for for what we like, you know, for what we like about what you cause, like yeah, when we're going to be in school, we may think about necessarily to where yeah, for what we like, and um, the one of those things that maybe that we you know do like maybe about is like maybe talking. Telling stories, telling stories about our talents, more like it could be something that maybe that we like to do, as well as uh, what you call it, we want to write a song, we want to write a song about the basics about, you know, from what we're good at. So, if anybody wants us to where, yeah, well, you write a song, you write, play that, play the, you play the drum or maybe the guitar, you play the guitar and start singing some, some words such as, as to a yada la 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 la, yada la 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 la. Like an, I like to learn, like I like to, the, I like to learn the dance, and I know, like with anybody, they're likely wanting to her that really your homework is not the same thing as dancing. <laughs> so if anybody were warned to her that really, I'm like whoever that taught you how to dance, huh? <laughs> and uh, thinking necessarily to her that really, you know, is dancing. Dancing is not really just about you know putting your your left hand at, you know putting your left hand in and putting your left hand out and then you shake it all about. <laughs> but you know knowing about whenever you step forward and then you step back and then you do decide you know decide by side and then side by side. But on your hand, they talk about for higher education that um, well, the way we think about it, though is like subjects subjects that we may have already had. But then we gotta take them again, or if it goes by, say, the basic requirements. So whenever we get a job one of these days, and thinking necessarily to where any type of task that you may have, and I know with anybody's to where that that you know something that would you call it is like what you call an important task. So let's just say this right here. If we use right here's task as example, we have right here for task. Task, task more likely as well as you know, for security. So if anybody wants is to where that the task more likely would be is to where that yeah that well if it's not a part of my grade then what what's in it for me you know what what do I need to do <laughs> but on their hand that uh, there are tasks that I guess that we would need to follow you know just you know for due to graduation that uh, knowing about it seems like the tasks are never really going to come to like say uh, like an over part uh, you know like an over you know, situation to where. That you know, yeah, it's over. You know that there's any, you know, any types of uh, of courses of the assignment to where that there's a part to where you probably like warrant to where that you know, hey, that uh, well, you're done. You know, you you don't have to do anymore. But then at this time, that like the next task more likely would be is to where, yep, well, you know, you had to sign into your FAFSA application. You had to sign into the the financial aid and tell them update about your know, but your earnings that there's any changes in the job as well as your know, change of location or anything like that. 
So anybody that may want to tour that there may be a few things that maybe that we like and a few things that we don't like. There may be a job out there that maybe we may not be crazy about, but then on your hand that thinking about necessarily to where, yeah, well, where did the parents you know tell you? And like, there's a job that you don't like. Well, you know, it's stuff that you know you gotta do, you know, just to be able to take care of of your bills. And I know what I, anybody they say if you work hard enough, and you know, like we say, hey. You've done your job, you know, you've done your chores, you know, it's like think about this to where that, uh, you know, by the time we, uh, you know, if we want to call it pay our dues, by the time we take care of enough of our responsibilities, or like anybody say that, yeah, you know, people have had more than enough, they're more likely that, you know, knowing about, you know, for what is paid for on its own. And I use that word, by the way, for what's paid for on its own. It's like you know, for whenever we start school, is to where if we work hard enough, that it's possible that we may start seeing some, you know, besides improvements that you know, we may start seeing some what you call it some decisions finalized as to where that you know for knowing about who's going to be willing to pay for something, even though if the agreement was as to where that yeah that Matthew it was respond you know he's he's in charge of taking care of this and taking care of that payment and taking care of keeping us updated. But then after about a year, if you've done a, you know, quite a bit more, you know, if, you, if you've if you already completed the courses and done very well, then then more likely that they may say is to where that there's going to maybe be uh, somebody else that more likely could say is to where they are willing to, to help out a little bit more to where that uh, it may not be promised. It may not be promised, but a possibility to where they say that they'll be willing to take care of partial of the payments. Or maybe uh, you know, they may be able to take a about 20% off the payment. So I know a lot of that stuff, you know, like with any with anybody that that uh, with their kids, especially with the parents and their kids. You may have heard that before to where that they're proud of their son or daughter or who or their cousin or somebody for what you call for graduating as well as getting a good job, again getting hired on on a good on a good job, as well as taking care of responsibilities especially. And uh thinking about as to where that really that uh, you know for there may be at some point to where that we may have failed at some point, but then on your hand that we get real upset about it and but then on your hand that knowing about really that you know our kids tried. And uh if this was a story from back in nineteen eighty eight to where that you know for like anybody that may want to where that yeah, for any amount of support that parents give to their kids and uh, thinking about necessarily to where the amount of tutoring hours that you may have had and thinking about you know that uh, that anything that's going on at the school and you may talk to your mom about it or somebody a friend or yours and warrant where you tell them a little about it and you know like warrant where <laughs> well son if it was easy then then maybe everybody would be doing it or so but the way I would think about it, though is like really that I already knew this is college I already knew it was going to be hard and I'm sure like with anybody that uh, you know really that you know, they uh, you know they may have already knew about all this, to, about you know, how expensive it was and how hard it was. And anybody that may want to wear it, yeah, I don't think anybody has ever told me it was a club to where you're supposed to, you know, you're allowed to go to parties every weekend. Nobody told me that uh, it was all about is to where that, you know, hey, that you know, if you go to college, oh yeah, you know, it's it's all about what you want to do. This is, you know, this is, this is what you want to do. This is your future. And uh, which I would say that yeah, that uh, that that's what basically what education's all about is about the future as well, and then for what's going on now, especially. But then on your hand, that uh, really that uh, if it was all about the parties all the time, then I'm sure anybody would likely say is to her that yep, you go and you step into a good job, and then more likely the chances are is to her that you know, you may not know all what you're supposed to do, and then as well as like uh, you know, you may not recognize. From what all that you see, and I know that uh, whenever I first started going to school, is to where that a lot of the things that I did not recognize too, and um, part of the reasons was because of the fact that I did not have those thirty or so uh, hours or so of training, about maybe one hundred and thirty or so hours of tutoring hours, like I was required to have. So anybody that may want to tour that you know for you know any types of a paid for education. And that uh, weren't necessarily to where between day and night, and uh, thinking necessarily to where anything that's on the schedule, and you're like weren't to where 
that um, if anybody wants to wear this right here, it'll be a sunset. So, wanted to wear it, yeah, that, uh, you know, if anybody has ever thought of that memory to where that they want to stay up at a late night hour, you know, st stay up real late, especially early in the morning, your mom may ask you to, to stay up late with, you know, with me, you know, stay up until about 5 a.m. and watch the sun set, watch the sun come up. And uh, if I can remember right, that, that, yeah, that, uh, I may have done, I know I've done that quite a few times, and then that, you, know, you may have done it with a parent or so, or you may have done it with a friend as to where that, that they ask you to stay up late with them, uh, maybe to be working on something important, and, uh, and you know, stay up until about 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning, especially on the weekends, and then that they may ask you, especially on like a summer vacation, or maybe on a during a, the fall break, or maybe if it's winter break, or if it maybe about spring break or so, you ask you, you know, whichever it is, that they ask you to stay up late with them and you'll know, watch the sunrise. So, what does that usually mean whenever we watch the sunrise? And uh, some that may say is to where it's just the sunrise, it's just kind of like watching the sun as it's coming up very slowly. But I kind of look at it as to where, like I said before, is to where that. Um, on your hand, if I want to include like maybe a maybe a riding on top of it, it's like anybody like say that you'll be about sunrise. It's thinking about as to where that about the, you know whenever the sun comes up and knowing about for how much that was accomplished, especially. So whenever we think about that and thinking about as to where between by the time the sun comes up and by the sun you know that the moon comes up, you know, come time comes to midnight, and just thinking about as to where that yeah by the time you discover what you call the important reasons about for what you learned as well as knowing about the important responsibility you know, for being a student as well as going out into the workforce I'm sure you'll be able to know about as to where how hard a full-time job is how hard even a part-time job is but the one thing to remember is knowing about is to where that yeah for like you know, the education a lot of things that you were expecting and a lot of things that you wanted to have since you were young that that possible ability is to work that, that that is set for the future that uh, if I can explain this very well is to where that it's set for the future is to where a lot of things that we want to have that it could be three years later that we may see that you know in the next three years from now in the future by the year 2018 and I can maybe write right here it's like anybody that may want to where yeah 2018 in cursive <laughs> by the year 2018 by the year 2018, I'm just knowing about what more likely what your people will likely see, especially with me though. That uh, you know, am I gonna am I gonna see a bachelor's degree uh, by the year 2018? Am I gonna see my mom with a with a higher degree of education? You know, by the year 2018, am I gonna be able to see maybe more pay on a paycheck by the year 2018? So a lot of these possibilities. I'm sure that it's easy to think about them, but just knowing about, you know, one way of how to get there, more likely is just to show how much we are willing to work here towards, you know, for showing improvement on education. So if most of us have seen, you know, which I know that I included like a, you know, that, that you know, image of, uh, of me as like with, with the, you know, the brain power, and I know like with anybody that a lot of the education goes by, the, you know, by the, you know, how our brain works especially. But uh, on your hand, at uh, talk about right here, I know if like for higher education for tutoring hours. Yeah, well, I was knowing about Roy really, that if this was right here in my bedroom speaking and knowing about I'm like Roy really, that uh, you know from uh, you know from Mother's Day and as well as if it's going to be you know for any Father's Day or if it's going to be you know for any any parents if it's going to be Aunt or Uncle Day or so, you can tell them it's like you know for you know, this is what I learned you know, in in school and uh, this is what I learned from higher education. Higher education is, of course, about the future. It's not about, it's a fact about as to where that anybody that may want to where that they may go to school for higher education to get good paying jobs. But one thing, of course, I'm knowing about is like with me, though, with my art degree. This is what I learned about my art skill. I may have uh, talked about this a lot of times in my, in my bedroom to where that this is the stuff that I feel passionate about. Is to where I, you know, I started as a hobby, but then now I'm trying to aim for a good higher education, and just to show about that this is what I discovered, and this is what I learned about. Is to where, and I know with anybody that um, I can also use create, and I know 
that I talk about this a lot in class too. It's like anything, anything you know, create as an imaginable, anything that you create that you know helps people find useful. So that's usually the way I think about it too, is to where anything that I create, especially if you're going to be creating something, you know, you create something that you know that seems very useful to somebody else. That more likely is to where that yeah that uh, that you know basically no one is like you know for you know anything you know for tutoring hours. If you got an idea for what you think that more likely would work, I kind of call that what you call a source for higher education. But other than that, I thank you for watching and uh, May May twenty five and have a great.